Hello and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be drawing a cherry using coloured pencils and the reason why is to show you how to use solvent and to talk about three different papers. So as an example I'm going to just draw in a larger cherry and I'm going to be using some solvent with it and I'm using some Prismacolor Premier coloured pencils which are wax based. Earlier I did three examples on three different types of paper and I'm going to be using about going to be talking about which papers I used. So the one on the left is created using Strathmore Bristol Smooth paper and it ended up like this. And then the one in the centre is used with a pastel matte surface and came out really vibrant. And then the one on the right is used with a Canson watercolour paper and turned out like this. So clearly the pastel matte accepted the solvent the best so that's the one that we're going to be using for our example. So the way that coloured pencils work is you build up layers. You use very light layers and very thin layers. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to put that first layer down. Now solvent won't work effectively if you don't have enough pigment down so we can't just put this first layer of pink down and then put solvent over the top. So we're going to do a few more layers on top and so we're starting with our lights, our lightest value and then we're going into our more darker values. So I think I had about three layers in before I started using the solvent. So we want nice even and light consistent layers before we put our solvent down. And you can use any solvent that you like. Some people use Zestit and other people use Gamzol. The one I had lying around my studio is an odorless mineral spirit called Turpanoid. So once I have that first layer down, I'm going to use a small paintbrush and I soaked a sea sponge and put it in a little screw top container and I'm using the solvent that way. You don't have to use it that way but I find that it's more manageable because the whole way that solvents work with coloured pencils is that less is more and I can't stress that enough so you can see that I've dipped the brush in the solvent and then wiped almost all of it off on the paper towel. You want to go in until the paintbrush is almost dry before tapping it back on that sponge again and wiping off the excess. It's also a good idea to clean off your brush between changes in colours. So what that solvent does is it's going to break down and dissolve the binder in the coloured pencil lead and creates a smooth painterly effect. So solvent can give the layers of colour a really rich and vivid appearance. You want to be careful with your edges. If you use too much solvent you'll get left not only with a greasy stain you'll also find that there's lots of feathering and it will just bleed over the edges. Thank you. 
in between the layers we want to let that solvent completely dry as in bone dry we don't want any moisture on our pastel mat surface whatsoever So when that surface is dry, we can go back in with some darker values. Again, the same process applies, thin, light layers and a building up of those layers until you achieve enough pigment to use your solvent on top again. So I found out with the Bristol Smooth paper that the solvent just didn't really work that well. It doesn't work well with solvent when the paper is too smooth and it doesn't really work very well if the paper is too thin. Pastel mat is a very thick surface and can take tons of layers so it was perfect for this. It didn't work too badly on the watercolour paper which is also very thick. So now we're going in with our second layer of solvent. The brush that I'm using is a uh, number six or number five actually I think, but you can use any small brush. Mostly if you're using solvents you don't want to use a good quality brush and you don't want to use a watercolour brush. So just any fairly cheap small brush you have lying around with a reasonable point on it. So you can see I'm not using very many colours. I think there were three greens in the stalk. Then we had a pink, a red, a dark red or burgundy, and then also a purple for the cherry and a couple of browns for the tip. Of the cherry. So the coloured pencils that I'm using are waxed based ones for this example. I don't know how they would work with any other coloured pencils because these ones are the only ones that I have. Definitely worth experimenting though if you have some solvent lying around. So we're just finishing up with our layers now. By no means is this a masterpiece, but the point of the exercise was to show you how solvent can work with different paper surfaces. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next video.